What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here, and it's time to start your legacy. We're gonna do our very first Be A Pro career. I've never done Be A Pro, let alone what I'm gonna be choosing to play, Goaltender. So allow me to introduce Pucks Magoo, Goaltender number 17, butterfly style, goes by the nickname Biscuit Knees, and is see-through right now. The stance is important in a goalie. We're gonna try and get a Jonathan Quick stance, as close to the ground as you can get while still technically being on your skates is pretty fun. That's pretty good Jonathan quick wise, but how many goalie stances are there? There's over 30, 40 stances. 41 stances is what it maxes out at. I'm randomly gonna choose a stance and then we're gonna go with that. I'm not gonna know what it is. Height. We're putting Zidane Char in goalie gear. 6'9 is the highest we can get. 200 pounds, what a monster. Why does, why does there so many heads to choose from? Over 200 heads to choose from. I could be of Guinea Malkin if I wanted to. We need some eye color. We need some like lime green cat eyes. There we go. That is perfect. That guy looks kind of possessed, but it's all right. Any goalie that's going to be taken seriously has to have the proper hairstyle. Holy crap. Look at this. That's amazing. Look at the Yager flow. Or you could get the Jerry Curl. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. We could go eastbound and down with our goalie. I think there's nothing wrong with throwing a little Jim Craig back to the basics hairstyle number 35 for our goalie. That's a good look. I want to try and make him like a California boy or something, but this blonde isn't really doing anything for me. So we're going to do, can you do like bleach blonde? I'm talking like Ontario Hockey League championship. Everyone bleaches their hair blonde, ridiculous hair color, but that's going to have to do for now, I guess. There's no face furniture here. There's no dirt squirrels on this guy. This guy is a young gunner. He's a young stud. He's going to be coming up. He's got a, he's got a good head of lettuce. That's all we need right now. So maybe if we do a couple more be a pros, maybe we'll do some six year old grizzled veteran who has like a thick mustache sitting right on top of his lip. And Nice cookie duster there. For now, we're doing no beard, just a good head of lettuce. All right, so we're gonna get rid of the CCM stick. We're going full Bauer up in here, Bauer Vapor 1X. The Bauer Vapor was actually the type of goalie equipment I used when I was a goalie from like kindergarten all the way to the end of high school. I used that one. So yeah, Vapor was the goalie equipment I used all the way up until high school and I got a sick orange stick. I'm not sure if, if we get drafted by an NHL team, we inherit the colors on the equipment. So maybe I might be stuck with what I'm doing right here now, only customizing the stick, but I guess we'll find out. All right, so we can choose to be a part of an NHL team right from the get-go, start in the Memorial Cup and play for a draft position or start in the Canadian Hockey League and play to be the number one draft pick. This is the first time I've ever done be a pro. We gotta start out with the basics. We gotta go to the Canadian Hockey League. We're gonna do it just how Steven Stamkos did it. We're gonna go all the way until we get to the Sarnia Sting. Sarnia Sting, how Steven Stamkos, I think it was Matt Martin was the other player that came to the league with him, but we're gonna go the Steven Stamkos route. That ended up pretty good, number one overall to the Tampa Bay Lightning. If we get drafted by the Lightning, that would be sick. We're also gonna be 15 years old. We're gonna be a newbie to the game. 15 year old playing in the Ontario Hockey League. I love it, but it looks like we're pretty terrible right now. So it says the game settings is all-star. Is it normally all-star? We're here to learn. We're here to get pounded on for the first couple games by the opposing teammate style, traditional camera dynamic low. That all looks good. We're gonna start our career. It's a big day for us. All right, so we're here in the Be A Pro feed. We got the hub, my pro, edit player 50 overall. <laughs> we're terrible. Let's go check out the skill tree though. See if there's anything. So this is one TP. What does that stand for? Tree point? We're in the skill tree. It might stand for tree point or tree potential. We got one SP available. I'm not sure what that is yet, but let's see. Quick hands one, sealed one, position one. Quick hands allows you to upgrade your glove high and low and stick high. That's huge. Flashy glove saves are always going to get highlights and then I'm going to get drafted. So we're going to go quick hands one. So we got two more left to go. Position allows you to upgrade your breakaway and angles. Why not? It's always embarrassing to get scored on breakaway. And let's just go for the third and final one with sealed purchase that trait. Um, so let's check out some of the other stuff. Oh, these are also stuff we need. <laughs> Gosh. All right. So next time I guess we get tree points or whatever they are, trade potentials. We're going to come here and get this one. Stick work allows you to upgrade passing, poke check, and puck playing frequency. Ben Bishop was huge on stick work, passing, and puck playing frequency. That's probably why they put the trapezoid in was to stop players like him. Uh, let's see, the other one was resiliency, allows you to upgrade your poise, rebound control, and recover. That's huge. I'm probably going to go with that one next time. Dependable allows you to upgrade durability and endurance. You got to be conditioned. And movement 
allows you to upgrade aggressiveness, agility, and speed. All right, visionary, look around, screens through traffic. That's that's really good too. I shouldn't have wasted them on the first one, but then again, I thought this was the only tree that I could look at. Anywho, uh, specialties. This is okay. This is probably where we get to do the other one. Choose a specialty slot. The first one, the one that's only open. Calming influence. Slight increase to energy for all skater teammates when stopping a break or a penalty shot. I'm probably going to get scored on a lot of a 50 overall right now, so I'm not going to probably be stopping many breakaways. Speedy skater, and I'm going to stay in the net because I suck right now. Deflection save, slight increase in chance to make a save from a deflection. That's very important. I'm definitely going to be doing this one, so we're going to put that one in the first slot. So player growth, let's check this out. I got 1,500 experience points, probably just from starting and getting on to the uh, starting to sting. Okay, nothing going on. Season hasn't started yet. We're going to come over here. Sim to next game. Welcome to the organization. Welcome to the Sarnia Sting. We're happy to have you aboard. You are now one step away from playing in the pros, but first let's see what you can do for us in the next couple of seasons. Good luck and play hard out there. Your composure and net will really provide stability in tight games. I just want to be clear on what my expectations are for goalies. I pay close attention to your performance after every game you play and decide how often you play based on what I see. The more you impress me, the more you'll start. Not bad. I imagine this is gonna be happening a lot, so I'm gonna always auto assign the training. Let it just do its thing. It's probably gonna work out for the best. This is automated. Weekly performance, I think this is what was here from the beginning, so let's dismiss this. All right, so it's time for our first game. Play the next game. What would you like to do? Play this game, let's go. Oh, are they throwing me in on my first game of the season? 15 year old, they're putting him in. They're not even going with their, their actual starting goaltender. This is, I'm really nervous about this. Depending on how well this goes, I might spend the second episode just kind of training a bit, learning how to be a goalie, mainly how to do every single save you can do, any positioning tactics you do. We're going up against the Salt St. Marie Greyhounds. Game time. I gotta figure out in these breaks how to do stuff like grab the post. And I know butterfly, butterflies put are easy. You just that's all just right trigger right here, but how do you hug the post? It doesn't automatically do it. Uh-oh, first shot. Has to be good. Come on, don't give it up. I oh, God, I wish I knew how to do the post. No, <laughs> gosh. All right, goalie controls, here we are. Hug post left, L1 and left trigger to the side, hug post right, left one, L, left trigger to the right. Seems pretty, seems pretty standard. Diving save, square and over. Diving poke check is square and up. Spread eagle, down, square and back. Stack the pads, circle. So square and circle are pretty much my desperation save moves. Poke check is right on the stick. Cover puck is triangle. All right, I should be good for now. At least to start out in my first game. Come on, you gotta stop the first save. That's huge. Oh, my goalie was so slow getting over there. Hug the post, there we go. Look at me knowing how to do things. I'm a daggum pro with this. Come out and challenge him. Nice serve. Darn right, the goaltender robbed him. Here we go. I got you, boys. Uh-oh. That's a penalty coming up. Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> oh, poor guy on my team. He's like 15 years old. He's already balding. Dude, my goal is so big. Look at this. I can hug the post, drop to a butterfly, and my head's still above the crossbar. That's insane. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. I thought that was a breakaway. Are you kidding me? Guys, it's my first game. Do not give up a five. Ugh. It's okay. My team sucks, and they just wanted to score on me. Got to get back in this puppy, but they're still going on the power play. Gosh. Where's the puck? Where's the puck? Oh, there we go. Nice save. Cover that puck. Heck, yeah. Let's go, buddy. There you go, pucks, Magoo. Way to make a debut performance. Oh my gosh, I kicked off the post. No, gosh. Oh, I should have dived over there. I kicked off the post and it threw me way too far out. Got to get back in this one. Gonna get pulled in my first game. Help out, help out, help out. I couldn't get there. Get back to the net. Get back to the net. Oh, gosh. That was terrible. Big save. I was, even the rebound. Come on, D. Help me out here. Oh, there we go. Stop the one-timer out. Down in front. Dude, you guys need to quit passing the puck so much and shoot the dang thing. Oh, 
That one off my own dude. It went five hole. Not the best first period ever. All right, we still haven't been pulled yet, so I guess that's a good thing. Dude, did you see that goalie interference though? I got busted out of the crease by that guy. Then I was so thrown off, I couldn't see that guy. Maybe I need to heighten my skills just a little bit. <laughs> you can tell this is a game because I haven't gotten pulled yet for the first period. It probably isn't good. 11 shots on goal for the other team, only eight for me. I feel like that's a lot for one period. All right, I guess they don't pull goalies in. Be pro. <laughs> That'd be pretty demoralizing. Oh, huge save there by Magoo. Let's go. Nice glove save. Let's go. Yo, fight this guy. He just ran me. Uh oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Actual play coming. Nice save. Get that rebound out of there. Hug the post. Drop to the butterfly. Let's go. Oh, I keep kicking off to the side of the wrong post. But somebody's wondering, like, what the heck I'm doing out here in the crease. Get up, dude. Get up. I can't get him out of this butterfly. God, that's horrifying. What is that? Two XP? Just get one? One what? Save? I already have, like, seven saves, man. Oh, God. Taunt me like that. Bam. Look at me covering pucks. Doing what goalies do. Yeah, that's a big goal right there. We're on the board. I broke the shutout. This is where we come back. Who's the captain of this team? I have no clue. Better period for us. I think they got seven shots on net. And we've pretty much tied this up shot-wise. Unfortunately, we can only score one goal against them right now. But that period was much better for us. We actually only gave up one goal, was it, that period? Was it three or four goals in the first period? Whatever it was, wasn't good. Oh, there we go, another goal. Thought he was gonna come around and cheese wrap that one, but the guy was there to pick up the rebound on the far side. We're back to within two now. I hope they're not gonna try and pull me because I have no clue how to skate out to the bench or when they call me or what. Need a goal, two times experience. Well, I'll try my hardest. Yes, there we go. One more goal to go. We tied this game up. This is exciting. Four minutes left. We've come from behind. Four zip. They were ahead. Whew, we got this, boys. We got this. After a shaky start, we rallied behind. Okay, don't choke now. Oh my gosh, that almost went in. No, no, I went the wrong way. This is terrifying. Gosh. Come on, stop some shots here. He's walking in. How about you leave me alone? No, goes wide. Oh, this is terrifying. This is an onslaught. Oh my gosh, get it out. Walk it in, two on one. Is it gonna leak through? Oh, less than two minutes left. Are they gonna pull me? I don't know if I'm gonna have to manually skate to the bench or what's gonna happen. Do I have to tell when I have to pull the goalie? Right, we're not pulling them while they have possession though. Can I try and pull it? Nope, I can't. What if I just skate to the bench? <laughs> that could be very embarrassing. I don't want to do it. Nice save. Here we go. Can you pull me, coach? Please. Um, somebody in the comment section, let me know what the heck's supposed to happen here. Because I think less than a minute left, I'm supposed to be out of this net. There it is. Skate, 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 skate. There's the arrows. That's what I was looking for. Gosh, he's so slow. He's out. Hide, I don't, I don't want to see all this. Whew, why would they pull me with like 30 seconds left to go? Come on, here we go. Everybody loves the Nexus stick on my team, apparently. Every single player has it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't good. Oh my god, he just got killed. You might have saved the game on that one. Rip it in. He had the perfect shot. Off the post! This guy's dying on the ice. <laughs> oh my gosh, what an ending to the game. Come on. Eight seconds left. Oh, it was right there. Where is the guy in the back door? Oh, just like that. Five seconds left. This guy's in. This guy's hurting. He's injured. Boom. He got actually shellacked. Five seconds left. Can we seal this one up? Can we tie this up? Send this one to overtime. 
That's not gonna happen. Oh, but he just died too. Oh, so it was unfortunate. We did not win our first game as be a pro. Saves 52%. Good work closing up the five hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Positioning was pretty decent because I fa actually found out how to hug the post and stuff. Tough loss, we'll bounce back. Is that all the scolding I'm gonna get? 32 to 21 were the shots on goal. I think I saw it was 15 to four shots on goal, but after we pretty much gave up four goals on like 12 shots, we did pretty decent on keeping the puck out of our net. But that's gonna do it for the first episode of the Be A Pro. I'm gonna find out how long those highlights actually took and how long it makes the episode. I wanna make the episodes a little bit, like maybe 15, 20 minutes long, so maybe we'll play a couple games once we start to get going here. But thank you for joining me on this Be A Pro. If you guys like Be A Pro and enjoy it, smash that thumbs up. Let's see if we can't get 100 likes on this video for the first Be A Pro I've ever done in my hut career. YouTube career, but it was decent. We didn't play too bad. Hopefully I'm gonna be starting the next game as well Even though we lost it that would be exciting If not, we're gonna upgrade this goalie and he's gonna become a monster 6-9 Pucks McGee. He's a legend, but thanks again for watching this episode. This is Pac-Dead. I'm out